Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you how to take headlights, bust it and discuss it like this, and turn them into something like this. Out of this world headlight restoration. I mean, you could sell this in space. Real shit. Stay tuned. Check out this video. Hot one. Perfect. Born on Earth. I was the richest man on several planets by the age of 74. The first time I died, I was 99. New technology transferred my consciousness to a new body. For 263 years, I sleeved into new bodies, living on in perfect health. Let's get down to business. This is a 2013 Toyota Camry. Believe it or not, it's one of the most uh, common vehicles in uh, the world, uh, even in America and whatnot. But check this out here. I made a mistake and I bought these uh, P600s. These are Hook It 2 uh, discs, whatnot. Um, I got some online information by a guy told me about these and they were extremely cheap. So I was like, man, I thought I got a good deal, but they actually have a different backside. So what I had to do is... Uh, make this uh, special back plate to put these on and basically what this is, is like a velcro um, backing whatnot uh, it's just one sided to the velcro kind of like this here right so what I did is I took the opposite sides and glued them together so I could use these uh, p600s okay um, regular p600s are the same thing but they're just a little more expensive to uh, by uh, compared to these ones or whatnot. So that's what I did is put both of those together and let's see if it works. So we're going to check this out and uh, see if this works or whatnot. This light is pretty eroded. Um, they're losing about 70% of their light output. And as you see, um, it is pretty much the same thing. It's a finishing pad, a white disc. Um, it just has a different background, the same thing as a P800, uh, you know, of course, just a uh, little bit more coarser grit. Um, so I've been trying to use these lately. I've been experimenting. I haven't had any videos out, just have a, a lot of stuff going on in life. Um, a lot of training I've been going through and, you know, um, all over the place. I'm here, I'm there, I'm up there, I'm down there, I'm all over the place. So um, trying to get stuff taken care of for myself, uh, you know, maybe a branch off a channel or so. Um, but not sure, you know, because everybody loves to watch my head my restoration channel, apparently, uh, which I'm grateful for, and I love all you guys. But nevertheless, just have been really busy lately, so I, I've been struggling to get this video done and taken care of. Uh, work has just gone crazy through the roof and whatnot, and, um, you know, hope, uh, you know, I can get some more videos out here after this. But, uh, with these headlights, they're extremely soft, okay? So when you're working on these headlights, um, you know, these, uh, you know, mid-level soft headlights or uh, low-level soft headlights or whatnot, uh, when you're working on them, you want to really not apply too much pressure. They're extremely softer, and if you apply too much pressure, you're going to have a lot of, um, a lot of scratching and a lot of different things going on with the headlight that you don't want to have to fix in the uh, end point. When you come to the end point where you're doing the finishing touches, you just want to go ahead and do that. You don't want to be worrying about uh, spot fixing too much or I got too many scratches in here because I applied too much pressure or whatnot. Uh, those heavier duty lights, you know, um, on those bigger vehicles are like, um, you know, the F-150s uh, or... Uh, you know, those crazy Kia lights or whatever on those uh, larger Kias or whatnot. Those take a little bit more pressure to go ahead and uh, get all the stuff off uh, the headlight, all the damage and erosion and whatnot. But as the uh, title suggests, you know, um, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, my God, he's bragging and boasting about what he could do or not, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. But that's not what this channel is about. This is about, uh, you know, you can also do this as well, especially if I'm showing you how to do it, um, you know. Being that, you know, I'm one of the best experts, uh, I, you know, some say in the world or whatnot, but I, you know, I think of the galaxy, <laughs> you know, as the title suggests, you know, I, I, you know, I honestly believe so. Um, but, you know, with that being said, you can be that too. All you have to do is apply yourself and, um, you know, just follow my methods. Uh, I have a 
plenty of videos up, over 150 videos up as we speak um, and growing every day. So if you, um, you know, watch my videos and the way I formatted this channel is I started, you know, all my old ones. I started very basic, just showing you the motions and doing these things like that. But then when I got to the higher levels of whatnot, um, of, of my videos or whatnot, I started to show you more extreme things, more extreme methods and ideologies on how to do headlight restoration. Um, and that's how it should be. That's just my method of teaching. Uh, you know, I start small and then I go, uh, you know, I, I gradually progress with intensity. Uh, and, and that's how you should work it as well, because uh, a lot of people want to just jump in at the end or whatever, and it's not going to work correctly that way. Um, you have to kind of ease into it. But, you know, if you want to do it, there's nothing to it but to do it. Everybody's aptitude is different. OK, and you got to know your own capability. You can't say, hey, I'm I want to fight. So I'm going to go be Mike Tyson. I'm going to be Bruce Lee. Right. You're going to say I'm going to start slow and then maybe work my way up there one day. But some people can actually just say I'm going to be Mike Tyson. Bruce Lee and go out there and they'll become what a you know a Tommy Fury or they'll they'll become a um a John Jones Bones or a Strickland or whatnot. You just can't um you know most people can't but some people can so you gotta gauge yourself and gauge your worth or whatnot. But see with uh these little spots right here, it's like a, a little delicate little area here, this little wedge, you know. Um you really want to be delicate with those and don't hit it with the drill too much because it will uh, eventually become really difficult to fix in the end but now I'm about to show you guys my true secret the true secret of my headlight restorations deep woods I've been lying this whole time it's all about no I'm, I'm fucking with you right <laughs> <laughs> anybody puts that shit on their headlights they don't know anything about making or excuse me yeah don't know anything about making headlights and definitely don't know anything about restoring headlights here with the bullshit so um but I, I just have some big ass mosquitoes around here a lot of bugs everywhere just flying around bothering me every time I do headlight restoration so I decided to strap up with some deep woods keep their ass down keep them calm you know keeps them from you know essentially doing what they're made to do is suck blood they're uh, essentially parasites so far as deep woods and headlight connection the best thing you can do is get you some because it keeps the parasites to a minimum now this is the point right here because it's uh, the afternoon it's a little cold i put the uh clear coat uh, which is the mcguire's clear coat in my pant leg or whatever because i always wear shorts or whatever and um that is to warm it up and uh, right here I'm using water of course as always I'm using water to do and I wanted to emphasize right here that I'm using water or whatever um, because pretty much you want to be uh, universal with um, using your equipments in your style you can't be stagnated to one style or one um, anything because everything even if you're even if you're doing uh you know metaphorically if you were a boxer or whatever or if you were a kung fu master or something and that was your sole discipline of practice you could benefit so much more by taking in techniques from other sports uh whether it was um boxing taking in something from ufc the way they throw punches or the way they uh you know do things it could benefit you in your sport dramatically so you don't want to be a one-trick pony on anything you do so that's why i always refer to my method of headlight restoration as a mmh kind of like mma but mmh uh, mixed headlight restoration so i say mixed martial headlight restoration um which is kind of funny just because i take in the fact that i took everything from all the other known um restoration methods and i made them into uh, pretty much this method i took the good points of them you know whether it's the wet sanding with this or whether it's the dry sanding and descending um uh, method of sanding whether it's polishing you know this is a polishing step that's coming up okay some people only polish but i do all these things uh in unison to uh pretty much come out with the perfect outcome of each headlight no matter what vehicle it is and that's why you see on this channel that when i make something or when i um do a headlight restoration or whatnot it comes out beautiful you you know and that's why this channel you know is a successful channel and that's why you guys enjoy these things essentially because i'm showing you how to uh get a definitive outcome 
um, you know when you see this, like, damn, it looks so much better than that. And your first thought is, is it that easy? Every time I do this method, does it come out to be perfect? And I'm like, yeah, it's that easy. Every single time you do it, it's it's almost a mathematical equation. Every time you do it, it's going to come out this good, as long as you have the proper um you know backing the proper headlight you can only work with what's given to you if you have a crumpled up piece of paper with holes in it and you try to i mean i could probably i'm an artist i could probably draw on that paper but how well would you be able to draw that paper so you have to make sure that you have you know uh the proper um you know structure what you're dealing with the proper um headlight because some headlights are not going to be equal to others all right um but majority of them, I would say 99% of the headlights you're going to come around, I would say 95% of the headlights that you would come around are going to be good enough to get that perfect headlight ending. Or like I like to prefer to is the happy ending, if you know what I mean. <laughs> As you see already, you can see how clear this headlight is. It's a lot more clear than um, the other methods at this point. Okay, it's more clear than their finished methods when I'm done with this method. So imagine the ramifications of the outcome of these headlights. If I am polishing them here at this stage and they're this clear, they're a lot clearer than most outcomes of other styles of uh, headlight restoration. And uh, that's one of the things that draw people to this channel because they're like, what the fuck? How does his headlights look like this? And believe me, they perform like this as well. And uh, this is without even a clear coat on them. And look how good they look. When you uh, see the ending of this, you're going to see why the headlights, uh, you know, like I say, they're out of this world. They're out of this galaxy. But nevertheless, like I said, there's over 150 videos on this channel and you can definitely benefit from them. Whether you're trying to get some extra revenue in your pocket for your friends and family or whatever you got going on in your life uh this is a good hustle and whatnot and it'll definitely provide for you whether there's an economic collapse or you're behind enemy lines anything like that you can definitely provide for yourself. i do this uh all day i do this every day and i have a lot of stuff going on in my life so i guarantee you can thrive in this uh environment of headlight restoration and it's one of the most slept on and needed things uh, for uh, vehicle maintenance pretty much in the world. No joke. You can really market yourself on this. Um, even if there's 10, 20 people of you doing, you know, 20 people in the same town doing the same thing, you can definitely, if you hustle hard enough, you can definitely get some work in because it's always going to be needed. I mean, my given town, there's probably, what, um, 1.5 million vehicles in the uh, vicinity so uh and those are always going to need headlight restoration it's like uh, tires or oil changes or whatever for vehicles so you're always going to need it it's uh it's something that's always going to be around because there's always going to be vehicles around you can even uh wait till we're having uh you know starships or you know crazy shit like that you know gates and people walking through walls and doing crazy shit like that changing out bodies and doing all that stuff like in the future um you can even you know you, you can do all that shit and guess what you know you'll still need headlight restoration because it'll still be around so you can definitely uh prosper from headlight restoration perfect if there's anything going on, if there's like a way of war popping off, if there was any kind of crazy stuff like that, um, anything like that, just any little terrible situation or whatever, there's always going to be a need for headlight restoration. Look how many cars there is. There's is, there's millions of tons, millions, and they're always going to be make them, making brand new cars every year. So with this channel and with my tutelage, you can definitely get to the level, okay? You can get yourself out of the situation that you're in. You can get yourself into a better one. Um, I started this when I was working at another place, and then I started this, and it was just like, man, I'm, you know, I'm loving this. You know, life is a lot better. You know, um, so I mean, don't be afraid to go out there and get uh, into headlight restoration, especially with this method. You can pretty much dominate, definitely dominate. Um, you see what I'm doing with it? I mean, does it get any better than this? I mean, can you walk through it? Does I, you know, can you just open it up and walk through it anytime you want? Like, it just, it doesn't get any better than this. Look how clear it is. Look at that reflection. It's, it's not only that, not only better, but it's healthy for you.
Okay, this method is healthy for the headlight. Excuse me, not for you, but you know, always wearing masks or whatever. But it's healthy for the headlight. Okay, and um, uh, people love it. Check out some. Uh, make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Uh, this one right here is on this video uh, I did previously, and uh, you'll check that out. It came out uh, just as nice. And um, like I said, this is one of the most popular vehicles ever sold in history. And they're always on the road still. Um, check out this side here. That's what it looked like beforehand. Um, actually, the other side was a little bit worse than this. And, um, you know, stay tuned. Got some more coming soon. Keep your Born mind on open. Earth. I was the richest man on several planets by the age of 74. The first time I died, I was 99. New technology transferred my consciousness to a new body. For 263 years, I slaved into new bodies, living on in perfect health.